Hey all, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is gonna be a short one because we're gonna be talking about how to update the firmware on the AW3225QF. That's right, Dell has finally released the first firmware version for this monitor. Super exciting. I'm excited to go over the changes with you and then show you exactly how you can update the firmware on this monitor. If that sounds like fun, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, this video is not sponsored and is completely funded by me. So if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. Let's start off by talking about what this firmware update addresses. So number one, it fixes a firmware bug related to creator mode gamma adjustment during monitor displaying HDR content. So basically what was happening is when you change the gamma, it wouldn't actually look like it changed until you switched to HDR and then switched off it. You had to do like this weird HDR SDR switching before the gamma would show up on the display. Now in SDR, as you change the gamma, it will properly update the display with the correct gamma. The next one is improved creator mode sRGB EOTF curve tracking on dark level. Now, I have no idea what this is talking about. I don't think I have encountered this issue. So if you've encountered it, leave a comment down below and let us know how this fix has affected that. Number three, update the OSD thermal warning message. Now this is something that was happening with some monitors where they would display a thermal warning message saying that the monitor is basically overheating. I've been lucky enough not to have that message popped up, but it seems like that it was an issue that has been addressed in this firmware. So leave a comment down below if that has been resolved for you. Number four, fix G-Sync VRR image tearing issues. So it appears that there was some tearing issues while in G-Sync mode. I can't say that I've noticed that. The only tearing that I did specifically notice was when I didn't have G-Sync on and my frame rate was below 30 frames per second, but I solved it by turning on G-Sync. So if you were affected by that, this fix should fix that. So now let's talk about how to actually apply this firmware update to this monitor. So the firmware that ships with this monitor is M2B101. That is the baseline vanilla firmware that shipped with the original 3225QFs. The new firmware version is M2B102. So instead of 101, it's 102. That's how you know that you have the new one. First thing you're gonna wanna do is head to Dell's website on the support page. Enter in your service tag to pull up the monitor and navigate to the drivers and download section, where then you will see that there is a critical update and it is the new 102 firmware. You can go ahead and click the carrot down to get more info on it and click the link will open up a whole new page with numerous details on what exactly it fixes and there will be a button for you to download the firmware. Go ahead and click that and it will start the download in your browser. Then you're just gonna wanna click that once it finishes downloading and it's going to open up basically a wizard to install any application like normal. Go ahead and follow the steps to update the firmware there and it will show you that you need to plug in the USB cable. If you do not have the USB cable connected to your computer, like I did here, then you will not be able to proceed with installing the firmware update. Unfortunately, it does need that USB cable. So once that's plugged in, you don't have to close out the application, just leave it up, plug it in, and the program will resume the update. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to complete this update. And then once it's done, the bar will be completely full. The monitor will flash a couple times as it restarts to apply the firmware update. And then once it's done, just go ahead and click the button there, close it out, and you are good to go. And that is it. That's the first firmware update for the 3225QF. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this video, if you found it helpful, and how you find this firmware update. Did it solve some of the issues that you were having with the monitor? I know some of you were having some big issues with this, so I really hope that this helped to resolve some of those. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.